friends, it's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. Welcome if you're new, welcome if you're not. Awesome to have you. So, uh, we're going to do the shoes today. We're going we're gonna to do the shoes. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video because it's... Oops, we're crooked. Not right. There we go. Um, because as I edited, honestly, I just didn't know where to, to cut to make it shorter. I... Um, I already left out like how to do everything but the toe and um, I just I think we're good though I think I am giving you enough information that you can do it yourself and um, hopefully it's not like super boring so let's go ahead get into it um, I, I start with um, putting the fabric on the shoes and explaining what I'm doing and what you're gonna need and then um, I will come back here at the end and do it just a little wrap up so okay See you soon. Welcome to Modge Podge on Shoes. Um, here's what we're gonna need. You're gonna need a pair of white canvas tennies. These are the cheapest ones I could find and they kind of fold at the top so I'm not positive this is gonna be completely what I want it to be. But I did buy a more expensive pair so if pair one goes well then we'll go with a better pair so because you know testing is good uh you're going to need a surface to work on this is my old um cutting mat that i put the iron on and it melted it into a bump and i can't use it anymore so now i just use it for painting and craft projects and things like that um you will need mod podge and you will need mod podge for fabric um, I did try this on um, a different, like a canvas bag, and I just used a regular Mod Podge, and it worked, but um, the fabric one, it's a little tackier, and it catches the fabric quicker, and I don't know, I just, it worked better for me. So, Mod Podge, you will need some cutting implements, um, I'm prepared here for basically the zombie apocalypse. I've got every kind of pointy object I can find um, because we're going to trim around the edges of some of these shoe pieces and um, it may not be all that easy. We'll see. You need paint brushes. I just grabbed a bunch of cheap paint brushes and you will need fabric. Now my plan is to use the queen on one toe like here that's better so the queen will sit on the front part of the shoe bending around and under like so and then I have the um, cards thing that may be around the bottom part. I'm also considering the striped fabric around the top and then on the very back I am going to put a D cup. So that is um, brave of me, uh, stupid, I don't know. We're gonna find out. So let us begin with the toe of this shoe. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is uh, take the cutting implement and I'm gonna get her kinda, kinda centered how I'm gonna want her on the shoe. And I'm gonna kind of stick my hand in here to get it. I want her crown to show and um, the majority of her face. So that's, that's looking pretty good. So we need to cut off. Let's see, we want it to go around here and come back. So we're gonna need 
to make it a little easier, we're just going to cut off around. Now, certainly, if you're using a fabric that doesn't have such a large um, focal point, yeah, your life will be a whole lot easier. But, you know, shooting for the big fence, or you know me in sports analogies, I'm hitting for the far whatever. <clears throat> okay, so I think I got, I got her, kind of. Kind of like I'm, I'm gonna want her. Um, I'm gonna fold that back just a little bit. So when I get my hand in here, we got her all the way to the toe. Okay, so um, on Zima de Page, it says apply thin coat to back of fabric, cut out and smooth in place with fingers. Let dry two hours before sealing. Oh, that was the other. Uh, we'll get to ceiling later. Um, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take off the plastic. This is when I start to get nervous. Like when you just start something. It's like, oh boy, here we go. Can't get the top off. Yet again, the seam ripper for the win. Oh. Okay, I also usually have a paper plate um, off to the side to catch, you know, the stuff. So, I'm going to start with a kind of medium-sized brush. I'm going to start at the toe. I'm going to put my hand in there. I'm going to fold her back. And I am going to start applying the Mod Podge. As close, can you see? Yeah, as close to the edge as is possible. That is not a light coat, but I'll spread it out in a minute. start pressing along the spots and I'm going to take my fingernail and I'm going to go all along the edge of the shoe rubber to try to get it in there good and tight. Okay, so I can already feel that it's starting to kind of tack up there. So now I'm gonna fold it from this side and you can see it stops right, right where I stopped putting glue. So on we go. I have not yet figured out what I'm gonna do with this. It'll come to me. Okay. 
And this time I'm going up to where the shoe starts with that little gusset. Okay, queen. There's a song about the queen of hearts too, isn't there? Oh, this Mod Podge makes it so easy. It's it's gripping really well, but not like hard or um, crispy or any of that. It's just. He's good. Okay. Think. Let's see. If I want it to come down to there. Yes, I'm talking to myself mostly. Apologies. I am talking my way through it. What I'm trying to do is get it, the fabric trimmed where the shoe, this, this little seam thing, so that it'll fold around without too much excess. too far. Oh well. Okay, that's good. Okie dokie. Now we're going to go on this side. Globby, globby, globby. Maybe I'll do a talk over for this because this is a lot of dead air. I don't know if you can hear the birds singing. They're very happy this morning. Probably because we're now living in the Illinois tropics. It's supposed to be 99 today. Whose bright idea was that? I'd like to know. Not the mine. It, this Mod Podge dries fast enough for you to not have your um, fabric slipping all around, but not so fast as you don't have time to lay down the glue um, where you need it.
motherfucker. See, I cut it poorly. problem Okay, I'm going to let this dry for maybe, I don't know, half an hour or so, and then I'm going to come back and trim it. So, be back in a few. Okay, it's been about a half an hour. It's still a little bit cool to the touch, so it's probably a little damp in places. Um, be sure to put your, bar your brush in water if you're not using it, because the glue will, will turn it into a... A mess. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to go with the X-Acto knife because it just seems like the best idea. However, be really careful because it'll cut through the canvas also. So um, I'm just going to start down here. And I'm going to kind of hold the fabric with my thumb Keep it from pulling even though it's not okay let's see what's happening oh that's good Let's keep it going. It's just a little extra glue there that caught some threads.
if I can't find a good a good way to go here. Okay, let's let's go this way now. It's like watching paint dry, isn't it? Oh, 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 oh. It's working. Ha! Look at that. Queen of Hearts. Girlfriend, you're looking good. Definitely the drier it is, the better. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry a little bit more because it's, it definitely works better if it's super dry. But look at that. That's kind of awesome. I'm excited. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of the shoe pretty much the same way. Just add fabric add glue and then um, trim around the parts that you want of the shoe that you want to see and then uh, I will come back and um, show you the show you the finished product So um, I had them, them laying on the bed um, and my husband came around the corner and he went, oh, these shoes, oh my gosh, who did these shoes? I said, I, who else would do them? Me, I did them. He's like, oh my gosh, these are the most amazing things. This is a man who, I don't think he's ever looked at a quilt I've, or anything I've sewn and gone, oh wow, that's awesome. What? So, um, Tula fabric on shoes is what works for him. <laughs> so um, a couple of things. I, as you saw, I I did put some fabric around and it com comes over into the into the shoe um, teacup on the back. I used binder clips as it was drying and it did not leave lumpy bumpies. It worked out really good. And I also put binder clips along the. Um, whatever we want to call that, the tongue of the shoe. Um, and that worked out pretty well. I also did another pair. I did them slightly less exciting. I used the new, I had some fat quarters. So I used the new Tula on my um, 
more expensive, but not any, I mean, they're not, to tell you the truth, I really like the way the cheaper ones look and feel better than these, but anyway. So I did that and then I cut, I cut out the little raccoon in the lotus blossom for the back. And then the right foot is the hedgehog. And I just cut out one of the little hedgies and put him on the back. So you can do obviously like crazy amounts of, you could like embellish the daylights out of it like I did these. Um, or you can do it really simply and you still, I think they're still adorable. Um, finish, what I didn't explain to you was finishing them. I used this uh, Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating. Um, it doesn't say it's for fabric. It says photography, artwork, painted surfaces, wood, metal, paper mache, glass, plaster, ceramic, dried silk flowers, paper, wicker, etc. Okay, I'm going with the etc. <laughs> with the that it's um, that it was good for fabric, and it uh, it worked out really well. Um, it does it does darken the color of the fabric just a little, not crazy, but just a little. So uh, I'm gonna wear them. We're going out for dinner tonight, and I'm I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear these out. So I think it's safe to say that they are not <clears throat> like great for your everyday shoes. I'm I mean I'm not sure how well they even even coated. I'm not sure how well they would do getting like really wet, but um, they were fun. They were super fun to do. I also just want to mention these scissors these i believe are the applique no maybe the i don't know these are karen k buckley shears and they have like a <clears throat> really pointy tip on the end and i am so in love with these shears scissors whatever we want to call them pointy objects they do such a good job um they're sharp as the devil and that point mm, this is these are these are good these are also Karen K. Buckley, and these are the tinier ones, and they also have a super sharp point, but I found myself reaching for the big ones. Um, I, Good stuff. Really good stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed. Um, <clears throat> I, I can't really see it, but there's a pile growing behind me of things for Christmas in July, and we've it's coming. So, uh, I think that's all for this week. Uh, go ahead and ask me what hasn't come in the mail yet. Holly! What hasn't come in the mail yet? My Joanne order. Surprise! <laughs> this is Mary and Joseph. Um, I, I, pretty soon I will contact them and be like, what the heck? But anyway, be well, be safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.